What's up guys, welcome back to another trip to the thrift. I don't know exactly what number this is, but I will put it right here. So we recently passed 6K subs. I just wanna thank all you guys. Um, I'm glad that you guys are enjoying the videos. Thank you to all the new subscribers, uh, definitely. And uh, thank you to all my OG subscribers that were watching the videos back when they were like potato quality. Man, I hate having them. All right guys, I just found this Seattle Supersonic Kevin Durant kid jersey. Like I'm surprised I even got anybody to subscribe to me back then. But anyway, we're on our way to the thrift store. Uh, I gotta go drop these shoes off right here. I actually bought two pairs of these from the Nike outlet for $30 each. I sold one pair already. Uh, this is the second pair that I had. I guess somebody's buying them for their kid for back to school. Um, but yeah, those black motorsports were 30 bucks at the Nike outlet when I bought them. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna go drop those off and then we will get to the thrift store, so let's go. Oh wait, before I do that, like the video. <laughs> If uh, you enjoy the videos, subscribe if you're not already, and um, drop a comment. I try to respond to all the comments I can. And uh, yeah, with that out the way, now let's go. Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures for $2.99. Still brand new still. You can't really beat that for a brand new game, I guess. Check out these two vintage Mickey Mouse Disney shirts I found. So this one is the Epcot right there. You got all the flags. Mickey down here. That one is a XL for $1.99. There's the tag. But then we got this one right here. This one I really like. I really like the colors on it. Uh, Disney Mickey Unlimited for a dollar ninety-nine size XL. This one is single stitch, and I really like the colors on this one. I found this pair of Brooks right here. They're like missing the piece on the back, but they look like they're dead stock though. Uh, they want eight ninety-nine for those. Pretty cool colorway. Got this diamond supply for a dollar ninety-nine. Just um, you know, like an essential diamond supply tee for one forty-nine size two XL. I found the DGK Def Jam collaboration tee. You got right there, Dirty Ghetto Kids times Def Jam. What they do to my boy Pikachu? Look at his tail. We got some KD. Uh, what are these? The KD Five Elites for $4.99. These remind me, if y'all remember, an orange pair came out with these as well. And I always thought of these as like the Vegetas and the other one as the Gokus. Got a good little Wii lot right here that I found. Uh, Mario Super Slug is for $5.99, but it's sealed. That's why it's six bucks. Mario Kart Wii for $3.99. Pac-Man Party, this one's not worth much, but I'll probably get this just to play. Wii Sports. Mario Sports Mix. And Wii Sports Resort. There was a couple more over there, but these were like the best titles. And they're all in really great shape. They're all complete, and they feel like they were just basically took the wrapping off and never played. That Bob Rosso for $1.99. I found the 2001 Aerosmith T. You got Aerosmith Tour on the World Tour 2001 on the back. And this one is $3.99 printed on a giant tag. The best console of all time, in my opinion, for $1.49. What's going on in this picture? I found this Puma Seahorn jersey for $4.99, but it's like really stained up, it's really cracked. So, probably not gonna be getting this one, but just thought it was pretty dope to show you guys. That Fresh Prince of Bel-Air swag tee <laughs> for 95 cents. We got the Harley Davidson tee right here for $1.99. It's a size medium. Um, I really like the design on this one. You got like the eagle with the flag. And then on the back, you got Graceland, Memphis, Tennessee. I found this Kill Switch Engage hoodie for $2.99. I don't know if you guys are wrestling fans, but they actually did um, CM Punk's first WWE theme, which I liked a lot more than Cult of Personality personally. Uh, but that's actually pretty dope. I found all these pink uh, Martin Luther King and uh, Barack Obama tees. I got about four of them, all size L, large and XL. And then this one right here that has uh, Obama, Martin Luther King, and Malcolm X. And that one's six, 65 cents too. There's some socked arts. They want $6.99 size 12. Also found this uh, Club Santos Laguna. I don't know, I'm not a soccer fan. By Puma, size XL. A little authentic licensed product down here at the bottom. And this one is a $1.99 size XL. We got Corona on the back. <laughs> Some KD7 IDs for $5.99. Kind of like a Sacramento King type colorway. 
Black History Month LeBron 14. These are actually pretty dope, but these are my size. I get them to hoop in, but they're too beat to pick up. They want $20 for them too. For $2.95, I found this Tommy Hilfiger denim, size 2XL. It's got like the Hilfiger like box logo on the front. It's kind of cracked though. For $3.95, I found the New York, or New York, New Jersey Nets champion jersey, Kenyon Martin, number six. It's got a little bit of like green stuff down here, but I think I can get that off. I found this Vineyard Vines long sleeve shirt right here. You got Vineyard Vines on the sleeve. And then on the back, you just got the big well. This one's $1.99. And I actually forgot this weekend is tax free weekend. So that's a plus two. Guys, I've, ever since I started the channel, I have never found anything bape. And finally, I have for only $1.99. 100% authentic. You uh, don't mind the cuts around the logo. Um, and you can tell it's 100% authentic because it's on a Fruit Loom tee. So, definitely going to be copying this. We got the Pokemon tee for $4.99. Everybody was always a Charmander person, but I was always a Squirtle person myself. Found the Binders Vine t-shirt as well. With a little boat on the pocket. And then you got it on the back too. A little cracked, but it's only $1.49. Found this pair of Kobe 6s. These things are pretty beat though, and they're pretty disgusting. They want $6.99 for them. I don't know. Size 12. I swear, I find this shirt so much. <laughs> the store strikes again, putting games were right there, even though they're not for sale. Got a pair of these Griffies right here. Uh, I actually got a pair of these in that beater box I got. They want uh, $3.75 for these, size 5 wide. This is dope. For $8.50, we got the Paul Pierce St. Patrick's Day Celtics jersey, but it's a youth XL, so, oops. So yeah, it's a kid size. And also for $3.75, I found these little 13s. I think that will come off, but I'm not too sure. Size 13C. Probably my favorite saga of Dragon Ball Z, and probably my favorite villain as well. I got three games here for a dollar each. Two copies of Battlefront 2, which I don't even know if those are worth anything anymore. And then Wii Sports. Someone skinned my boy SpongeBob. So I just came out the store. Y'all saw the Pantones that they had behind the counters when I recorded. Uh, these were $41.25. You guys let me know if y'all think that was a pretty decent deal. I thought it was. Um, but what you guys didn't see is actually this pair that I actually um, told them to put up for me before I did the whole video part. And that is the Mellow Ones. And these were $42.50. I don't know. You guys let me know if that was a good deal. Just the midsole is a little dirty. But other than that, still in really good shape. As you can see. But anyway, on to the next door. Found these blazers. I guess there's like some kind of special edition. I don't know what that is on the tongue. And they have like a plaid interior. Size 9.5. They want $3.99 for these. They got everybody's favorite shoes all of a sudden. The Monarchs and like this uh, bread colorway. And then they got these like super beat Air Max 90s. Like these things have uh, seen better days for $3.99. I don't care what anybody says, this was the last good um, Fast and Furious movie in my opinion. What are these, sperm shoes? Also got these LeBron 12s right here, $6.99. Uh, these things are pretty beat though. I found this New Mexico Lobos tee right here. It doesn't have a date on it, but it's printed on the screen stars. And it's $1.99, I just thought the, um, the design of it was pretty dope. So I bought those Mellow Ones yesterday, right? And somebody was telling me that they had the same ones here at the thrift store that I'm at. And I'm assuming they were talking about these. Uh, not the Mellow Ones, but pretty close, I guess. For $2.49, I found this Comic Palooza tee. I just thought the Ninja Turtles on this one looked pretty dope. Saw this shirt, and it reminded me of SB Mitch, though. Shout out SB Mitch. For $2.99, I found the Columbia Adidas soccer jersey. And also for $1.49, I found this Diamond Supply, um, but this one, yeah, size XL for $1.49.
Check out the Helion shield I just found for $1.99. It's like a costume one, but it's still new with tags. And if y'all know me, y'all know I'm going to pick this up. Pulling up the Play-Dohs. Haven't been here in a couple weeks, so hopefully there's some good stuff. Hopefully people have been bringing stuff in to get money for back to school. So let's go see what they got. All black Prestos. Size 11 though. I do want a pair of Prestos, but these are too big. What in the world are these? Pair of Flyknit Racers, $25. Kobe 10s, these are a cool colorway. 20 bucks, size 7. Some Kyrie 1s, $25, size 11. These crazy looking Pumas, Los Angeles, with that crazy midsole, $25. These are cool, these like acid wash bands. Red October Dunks. Some beat LeBron 11s. Sock darts. Snakeskin bands. Pair of Rodmans for 40 bucks. This is a shoe I actually want in my size, but I think I can get these cheaper than that. So that brings us to the end of this week's trip to the thrift, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did please hit that like button subscribe down below and drop a comment and again thank you guys for subscribing and i will see you guys next week with another one so later